You know, a table saw sled like this makes a great addition to just about any shop. It makes your cuts safer and more accurate, especially when you're working with wide pieces like this. Now, this sled, like most other table saw sleds, consists of a base, a front fence, and a rear fence. Now, the rear fence holds the workpiece and keeps it square during the cut, and the base backs up the cut and prevents it from chipping out. This jig has some unique features as well. It's guided by a runner that fits in the miter gauge slot. Now, for it to be accurate, it has to slide smoothly past the blade without any side-to-side -side movement. Now, you can imagine cutting a wood runner to fit exactly can be a bit tricky. And with changes in humidity, the runner is going to expand and contract, making it either too loose or too tight. The solution to the problem is to use a bar like this. The bar is made of aluminum, so it's not going to expand or contract with changes in humidity. But more importantly, you can dial it in for perfect fit. All you need to do is use a screwdriver here and adjust these little nylon set screws in and out until it fits the miter gauge slot perfectly. We've also added a piece of orange acrylic back here just to make you aware of where the blade's going to exit the jig. But what really sets this jig apart is the two-part base. Because this piece can slide back and forth, you can adjust the jig for different saw blades. So it doesn't matter whether you're using a standard blade like this or a dado blade. All you have to do is slide it up until it touches the side, tighten down a couple of knobs. Now the sled will hug the saw blade, giving you a nice clean cut. All in all, a real handy jig for making your table saw work harder. You know, Terry, this really is a nice jig, but it can work even better if we add this aluminum track system. You know, I agree, and it attaches real simply, just a few screws on the back side, and then you can add a flip stop for making repetitive cuts. Okay, that's the key. So let me get this all assembled, and then we're gonna put this sled to work. Okay, I've got the aluminum track system mounted to the sled, and I've attached an adhesive back measuring tape to the top edge of the track system. We'll see how handy that comes in a little later. Then I've got this sliding stop attached. Now this whole sled becomes a system that's great for cutting a lot of pieces to exactly the same length. For instance, when you're making cabinet doors, where you have to cut all of the styles, the vertical pieces, to exactly the same length, and all the rails, the horizontal pieces, again, to exactly the same length. Now when I'm cutting all of the work pieces to assemble this frame, I'm gonna cut the rails first, and I have to cut them to length to allow for the length of the rail itself, and then one and a half inches on each end for the tenons. Now in this case, that means 12 and 7 eighths inches. That can get a little confusing, and I might have to measure and mark each piece, but that would be a lot of work. And that's where this sled system really comes in handy. I just bring my workpiece over here, adjust my sliding stop to 12 and 7 eighths inches right there, lock it down. Now, this stop system is also handy for another thing. I can lift it up out of the way, and if I need to, I can trim off the end of each workpiece to make sure it's smooth and square. Then I'll just lower the stop down, flip the workpiece around, and now I can go ahead and cut my piece to 12 and 7 eighths inches long on each and every piece. Now there's another nice feature. As I'm making the cut, it supports the waist piece all the way through the cut. Okay, now I've cut all of the rails to exactly the same length. The next step is to cut all the styles to length. But we have a little bit of a problem here. When I put the styles that have to be 20 and a half inches long, it's longer than the capacity of this sled. So to solve that problem, we've added an extension fence with an extra piece of the aluminum track. It attaches right to the back of the sled with some threaded knobs. Well, now I have the extension fence installed, so I can slide the stop over using the hairline indicator to exactly 20 and a half inches, lock it down, and now I can cut all the styles to exactly the same length. Well, Don, this sled really does work great. Well, it's a perfect jig when you have to cut a whole lot of pieces to exactly the same length. But in this case, we need to do one more thing, and that is to cut tenons on the ends of all these rails. Well, and most sleds won't let you do that, but this one has one more feature that makes it possible. Right, well, we can slide this open and install a dado blade. 
Well, and that's the perfect way to cut quick, accurate tenons. So why don't I get everything set up and get those tenons cut? To cut the tenons on the end of all those door rails, I've gone ahead and set up the sled and the saw. And I've started by opening up the base so that I could install a 3 quarter inch dado set. And I've raised the dado set to the height I need above the base. So now all I need to do is establish the length of the tenon. And I want to use the stop system for that. But you can see there's no rule on this end of the fence. It's okay, I've got a trick to get those tenons dead on. I've gone ahead and laid out the length of my tenon on the rail. So now all I need to do is align that layout mark with the outside of the blade. And then I can bring the stop over, butt it against the end of the workpiece, and lock the stop down. Now I've got the length of the tenon established, but of course with a 3 quarter inch dado blade, I can't cut it all in one pass. It's not a problem. I'll start by butting the rail against the stop. Then I can make a pass to establish the shoulder on that face. Now I'll flip the rail over and cut the shoulder on the other face. After that, I can stand the piece on edge and make passes to cut those shoulders. With the shoulders established all the way around, all I need to do now is make a couple more passes on each side to nibble away the rest of the waist. All right, let's take a look. You can see that using this method, we've got a perfectly sized tenon with a nice, clean shoulder. Now all I'm gonna need to do is flip that workpiece end for end, and I can get the same results on the other side. Whether I need to cut two tenons or a dozen, thanks to the sled and the stop, I'm gonna get quick, accurate results every time. Woodsmithplans.com. Hundreds of professional, high-quality woodworking plans right at your fingertips. Every single plan is presented as an easy-to-download digital package that includes pages of step-by-step -step instructions, full-color photos, illustrations, and exploded views, retail sources for hardware and supplies, plus a cutting diagram and materials list. Many plans offer handy video overviews and guides, plus we're proud to offer our plans in both standard and metric. Everything is here, from gorgeous heirloom furniture projects to handy shop projects and upgrades, clever, cost-effective storage solutions, as well as weekend projects and accessories that are great for gifts. All fully searchable and categorized for easy browsing. Woodsmithplans.com, everything you need for building fine woodworking projects.